All right, going to do a short video refuting these charismatic fake visions of heaven, these demonic charismatics, these devil-possessed charismatics who claim to have these visions of heaven. I'm going to show you that from the Word of God, something they don't believe in, that these visions of heaven are unscriptural. So let's get right into it. Sorry for a little bit panting right now. I had to do some stuff. I, I like to exercise quite a lot. So anyway, 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verses... Uh, one, sorry, of 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 2 to 4. I knew a man in Christ about 14 years ago, whether in the body I cannot tell, or whether out of the body I cannot tell, for God knoweth, such an one caught up to the third heaven. And I knew such a man, whether in the body or out of the body, I cannot tell, God knoweth. How that, how that he was caught up into paradise and heard unspeakable words, which it is not lawful for a man to utter. So he was caught up to the third heaven, and what he saw he was not able to utter. He couldn't speak what he saw. But somehow these charismatics can see visions of heaven and go into detail of what they saw. Why? Because it's lying signs and wonder from Satan. Okay, Revelation chapter 13 verses 12 to 14, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 verses, verses uh, 8 to 10, and other scriptures show, Deuteronomy chapter 13 verses 1 to 3 show that Satan and devil spirits can counterfeit gifts of the spirit. These charismatics who have these visions of heaven, they're demonic signs, they're lying signs and wonders. I'm going to show you a good scripture that really debunks a lot of these, these charismatic, these devil-possessed devil charismatics who counterfeit gifts of the spirit. 1 Corinthians chapter 13, sorry, 1 Corinthians chapter 8, actually no, sorry, it is 1 Corinthians 13, my, my apologies. Got the reference mixed up. 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 8 to 11. Charity never faileth, but whether there be prophecy, but where whether there be prophecies, they shall fail. Whether there be tongues, they shall cease. Whether there be no, whether there be knowledge, it shall vanish away. For we know in part that we prophesy in part. But when that the end, but when that which is perfect is come then that which is imperfect shall be done away. For when I was a child, I spake as a child, I understood as a child, but when I became a man, I put away childish things. So, the charismatic gifts have ceased. Okay, The biblical gifts of the Spirit have ceased. These charismatic devils are faking gifts of the Spirit. But notice how it says but that in verse 10, but that which is perfect is come. What is that which is perfect? The Word of God. Our more sure word of prophecy, like Peter talks about in 1 Peter chapter, I believe it's 2 Peter chapter 1, verses 19 through 21. We have a more sure word of prophecy. We don't need prophesying. We don't need gifts of the Spirit. We have the Word of God. That's all we need. But you see, charismatics don't believe the Bible. They have their traditions and feelings that trump the Scriptures. But it's easily disproven. These charismatic fake visions of heaven, these demonic lying signs and wonders from these devil-possessed charismatics, it can be easily refuted from Scripture alone. The charismatic movement is a satanic cult that comes from Roman Catholicism, by the way, and I'll be showing that in a future video. Don't be deceived by the charismatic fakers out there, these devil-possessed, lying, false prophets in the charismatic movement. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.